everyone. I hope you are finding Mrs. Hamilton's classroom to be an enjoyable and enriching program for your child. I want to encourage you to register for the month of October as we will be moving to our subscription service. I don't want your child to miss a day of class. Please go to my website at www.mrshamiltonsclassroom.com for details and don't hesitate to email me with any questions. Hello, let's start our day. There's so much we can do. Come on, let's start our day. So you can learn too. Hello, let's start our day. There's so much we can do. Come on, let's start our day. So you can learn too. Well, hello everyone. It is our second day of Letter C Week. C Week, and today we are learning all about Cards. We're going to be making a car. We're going to be reading some car stories and we're going to play a fun car game. So, how are you feeling today? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you angry? Are you mad? How are you feeling? Let's sing and find out. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you today? All right, we're going to touch our wrist. Hello, everybody. Touch your wrist. Hello, everybody. Touch your wrist. Hello, everybody. Touch your wrist. Touch your wrist today. We're going to be touching our shin. This part. Hello, everybody, touch your shin. Hello, everybody, touch your shin. Hello, everybody, touch your shin. Touch your shin today. Let's wave hello. Hello, everybody, wave hello. Hello, everybody, wave hello. Hello, everybody, wave hello. Wave hello today. Clap your hands. Hello, everybody, clap. Clap your hands. Hello, everybody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands today. All right, we're going to stand up, jump up and down. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Jump up and down. Hello, everybody. Jump up and down. Hello, everybody. Jump up and down. Jump up and down today. Okay. Wow. Well. I am going to open up my binder until I get to my feelings chart, which I keep in the back. Whoop. And it says, how are you feeling today? And I think I am going to pick, we've got happy, angry, excited, worried, sad, silly. And then up here you can draw your own because I don't see mine. I am feeling, I don't even know how to really draw it. Sleepy. Sleepy. Hmm. I tried my best. I'm feeling a little sleepy today. I gotta wake up. How are you feeling today, snoozer? Okay. Whoa, that's a different word for snoozer. And how are you feeling, Antonio? I'm happy! Well, Antonio's feeling happy today. And Snoozer's just feeling okay. What's wrong, Snoozer? You're not happy today. I'm tired. Oh, well, he's feeling a little tired, so he just feels okay. But I betcha, by the end of our lesson today, you'll be feeling better, right? Yep! Well, good. Okay, well, it is time to get ready for circle time. Are we ready for the month of the year? January, February, March, and April. 
May, June, July, and August. September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August. September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. So let's see what our month of the year is. It still begins with the letter S. Can you find it? It begins with Sep. There it is! September! We are in the month of September. I'm going to put it right up here. And we have a lot of counting to do. We are almost done with the month of September. And then it's going to be September, October. But right now we have to count all the way to this square. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, first day of fall, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. There it is. A two and a nine makes 29. So I'm going to put it right here, and we are going to grab our binders and our markers and try and write the number 9. So it's still a 20, so we are going to make a 2. Around and back on the railroad track makes the number 2, 2, 2. Now a 9, that is a circle. And a line makes the number nine. Twenty-nine. How did you do? I'm gonna make it go away. Clean as a whistle. All right. Now we're gonna move on. So at this point, we should be opening up our binders to the I Can Count by Ten song. It looks like this. So you should be getting anything that you're using to point and you should be pointing along with each word as Mrs. Hamilton sings it. So do you have it all ready? I'm going to point it on my board and you point it on your board. Are we ready? Let's go. I can count by tens Ready now, let's go I can count by tens Here I go Ten, twenty, thirty Forty, fifty, sixty Seventy, eighty, ninety One hundred Okay, well now it's time to get ready for our season song. So, I'm going to be paying careful attention to our binders today to make sure we're all using them the right way. So we should turn the page and then turn it sideways because we are going to be picking what season we are in. So we're going to sing the song and we're going to come right back here and I'm going to choose the season right in my binder. Summer, fall, and winter, spring, summer, fall, and winter, spring, summer, fall, and winter, spring, summer, fall, and winter. There are four parts of a year called seasons, called seasons, called seasons. There are four parts of a year called seasons. Do you know which one that you are in? Here we are. We're at our season wheel. Oh no! 
My season wheel is already pointing to what season we are in, fall. But if you are pointing to the word fall, I tell my students, you can wind it around one full time and go back to fall. So we are in the season of fall, and let me move this season wheel to the right season. See, it's the same, fall. Okay, it's weather time, so I'm gonna turn the page again. And look what we have here. We have our weather wheel. Did you look outside today? What is it doing? Did you see how you felt? Did you feel warm or cold? Did you feel hot? Did you look and see what's happening? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Take a peek out the window if you haven't, and then come right back here because we're gonna be singing the weather song. It could be warm or hot or cold or windy out sunny or snowy or cloudy or rainy out. Let's all think of some words we can pick. Let's all look outside to see the weather. Weather. Weather today. Let's all look outside to see the weather. Weather, weather out today. It could be warm or hot or cold or windy out, sunny or snowy or cloudy or rainy out. Let's all think of some words we can pick. Oh, well, that felt good. All right. Well, at Mrs. Hamilton's school today, it is a little rainy. And I felt a little cold. So I'm picking the words rainy and cold. But you can pick different words. You might not live where Mrs. Hamilton's classroom is. So pick out the words that represent what it's like at your house. And I'm also going to change the words here to cold and rainy. Cold and rainy not two of my favorite words. Okay, well now it's time to do our vowels. So we have the vowel sheet right in our binders. I'm gonna turn it. And I'm not going to be touching my vowels today. I am gonna be using my binder. Oh, I gotta grab my pointer. So we're gonna look right at Mrs. Hamilton's binder. The Vowels are A-E-I-O-U and sometimes Y. So let's see. Can you point to the vowel E? E makes an A, ah, A, ah, A ah sound. Right there. A-E. Can you point to the vowel O? There, and let's do one more. Can you point to the vowel I? It, it, I. There it is. Okay, great job. So we are finished with our binders for now, so we should close them up. If you were pointing with something, you should put it back in here or somewhere safe, like your pencil box. All right, I'll meet you on the ground. So we are gonna be going over our letters. We're gonna say the letter, the sound it makes, and the picture it begins with. So say it along with me if you can do it. A, A, apple. B, B, B. C, C, car. Hey, that's what we're talking about today. D, D, doll. E, A, elf. F, F, fire. G, G, goose. H, h, house. I, I, ink. J, J, jet. K, K, kite. L, o, lion. M, M, mouse. And M, mm, not. O, ah, ostrich. P, p penguin. Q, Queen. R, R, Rose. S, S, Sun. T, T, 
turtle. U, a, umpire. V, v, vase. W, wa, watch. X, x, x-ray. Y, y, yo-yo. And Z, zipper. Good job. So, I want to show you Carol Cat. Do you remember that both the uppercase and the lowercase, they go the same way and they look just the same, except the uppercase C is bigger than the lowercase C, but you make them the exact same way. And today we're gonna to be writing uppercase C's on paper. But first, I wanted to share a Pete the Cat story with you that has a car in it. And it is called, Go Pete, Go. And the author is James Dean. Do you remember what the author is? The author is the person that writes the words. The author writes the words, the author writes the words. What does the author do? The author writes the words. And it seems like James Dean has written a lot of Pete the Cat books. Go, Pete, go. It's a beautiful day and Pete the Cat has decided to take his bike for a ride. Nothing makes Pete happier than feeling the sun on his fur and the breeze on his face. Vroom, vroom. Turtle has a new race car. Who wants to have a race? He says. Not me, says Grumpy Toad. My motorcycle has a flat tire. Not me, says Emma. My car is too old and slow. Not me, says Callie. My bus is a work of art. It is not meant for racing. I'll race you, says Pete, knowing how much Turtle likes to race. But your bike has no motor, says Turtle. My race car is super quick. I'll win for sure. That's okay, said Pete. I just want to try my best and have fun. Hey, we talked about a motor last week. Remember, a car has a motor and that's what makes it go. But a bicycle doesn't have a motor. Everyone is excited for the big race. On your mark, get set, go! Kelly shouts. Turtle steps on the gas pedal and vroom! Zooms away. Pete waves goodbye and then pedals off. Pete sees Turtle up ahead. Turtle slows down to let Pete catch up. Check this out, shouts Turtle. He presses a button and... I wonder what's gonna happen. Fins appear! Now Turtle's race car can go even faster. Vroom, vroom. Pete's bike doesn't have fins, but he does have a basket. He stops and takes out a tasty red apple. Nothing is better than a tasty red apple on a beautiful day. Turtle sees that Pete is way behind. He spies a diner up ahead. Might as well grab a bite to eat, Turtle says as he pulls into the parking lot. He says, good food. Yum, says Turtle, eating a grilled cheese sandwich. He is in no rush. He is safe and will win the race. Dessert, the waitress asks. Don't mind if I do, Turtle says. While Turtle finishes his lunch, Pete continues pedaling. The sun is high and the breeze is blowing. It's a beautiful day for a race. Pete sees Turtle leaving the diner. Pete waves hello, but Turtle doesn't wave back. Turtle just jumps in his car and peels off. That means he goes real fast. I guess he didn't see me, Pete thinks. But Turtle did see Pete. He knows that Pete isn't going to give up easily. So Turtle presses a button and his tires inflate into mad wheels that let him 
swerve around the curves at top speed. Vroom. Pete passes a rose bush as he goes around a curve. Pete knows he should keep racing, but he can't resist. The roses are just so beautiful. He has to stop to smell them. Turtle sees that he has a huge lead. He knows he's going to win. He stops for a nice cold glass of lemonade. And that's when he sees the hammock hanging between two trees. Do you know what a hammock is? It's kind of like a bed. It's just like a piece of cloth that's usually in between two trees. He's exhausted from racing so fast. He figures a quick nap will help him in the home stretch. Pete pedals past and sees Turtle sleeping. That's cool, Pete thinks as he rides by as quietly as he can. Turtle must be really tired. I'm glad he's getting some rest. Grumpy Toad finds Turtle fast asleep. Wake up, Turtle, says Grumpy Toad. If you don't get back in the race, Pete is going to win. That's impossible, says Turtle, thinking it must be a joke, but it's no joke. Turtle presses a button and rocket boosters appear, making him go super duper fast. But by the time Turtle reaches the finish line, Pete has already won the race. How did you do it? Turtle asks. Slow and steady, says Pete. Maybe next time, instead of racing, we can just ride together. Great idea, says Turtle. What a great race. What a great day. Ah, and look what Pete the cat's doing. He's on his hammock. So that was nice. Even though Turtle lost the race, he didn't cry. He just was happy for his friend Pete the cat. And next time, they're not even going to have a race. They're just going to go on a ride together. C is for Carol Cat, and there is Carol Cat making herself into an uppercase C. So you can get out a pencil, or you can get out a crayon, because we're going to be making how many C's? Let's count them. One, two, three, four C's. And that we can color in Carol Cat. And if you're a very good writer, you can even write Carol Cat. So let's get our pencils or our crayons out. And I think today I am going to write my name at the top of the paper. I was telling you that all the kids in Mrs. Hamilton's class have to write their names lots of times. So it's very important that you learn how to write your name. So I'm going to write my name right here up at the top. Mrs. Hamilton, you try and write your name. And if you can't write your whole name, then maybe you could just write the first letter of your name. That's a good start. Mrs. Ham... Mrs. Hamilton. Okay. And now, let's think of our song. Letter C, letter C, I can make a great big C. Start to make a circle, then stop, what do you see? Letter C, letter C, I can make a great big C. Start to make a circle, then stop, you've made a C. How are you doing? So it's just like making a circle, except you got to stop. So go around, and we're going to the left, around, and stop. Around, and stop. Because otherwise, you'll end up with an O. But we don't want to make an O. 
drink sea seaweed. All right, and then you get to choose what color are you going to make your cat. Hmm, I'm going to open up my crayon box and see what my choices are. I think I'm going to make Carol cat orange. Oh, and that's how the artist made his seeds. But you can make them any color you want. This is just your paper. Remember, we're going back and forth. Are you holding your crayon at the bottom with three fingers? I hope so. Do, do, do. Back and forth and back and forth. He's got a lot of black, black shadows on him. You see a little fur here and a little fur here. Too bad I didn't make it white like my cat, Button. I don't hear him today. There. How did you do? So, if you can't write Carol, I'm sure you can write Cat, because we wrote Cat yesterday. So I'm going to write Cat. I'm going to start up top. I'm going to start to make a circle. Do you see now an A? Make a circle and then stick right after that. And then a T. It's just a one. Start up top and down we run. And then you make a line in the middle. C A T Cat. Okay. Speaking of C A T Cat, I don't think we looked at our today of all our words that begin with the letter C. So before we take our song break, I wanted to show you some words that begin with the letter C. Ooh, it's quite a few. Do you know what this is? K -k Corn. Here's the word. Now we're in the season of fall. So we might not be eating corn on the cob anymore. What's this a picture of? It's a k -k can. Can. A k -k cup. C U P cup. Oh. Do you know what this is? It's a k -k cow. We're going to be making a cow later this week. Put that right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is what we're talking about today. A k -k car. C A R spells car. Ooh. It's not a hat. We call this a Cap. C-A-P. Cap. Ooh. A k -k carrot. Two to go. Oh, something yummy. A k -k cookie. It's like chocolate chip. And then the last one. A k -k cat. C-A-T. Wow, that is a lot of C words. I'll go over them one more time. Corn, can, cup, cow, car, cap, carrot, cookie, and cat. That's a lot of C pictures. Wow. Okay, well, we've been sitting for a while, so I think it would be a good idea to do some music and movement. So let's go do that. I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Annie Alligator says, ah, ah, ah. Bobby Butterfly says, b, b. Carol Cat says, k, k, Dan 
funny dog says d, d. And the elephant says eh, eh. Frankie Fox says f. Gavin Gorilla says g, g. Harry Horse says h, h. Izzy Interim says eh, eh. Joey Jellyfish says Katie Koala says k, k. Lenny Lama says ooh, ooh. Mary Meerkat says mmm mmm Nancy Narwhal says mmm mmm Ali Octopus says ah ah Peppy Penguin says p, p. Queenie Quetzal says Rachel Raccoon says, Err, Err. Sandy Snake says, Sss. Tony Tiger says, T, T. Undy Umbrella Bird says, Ah, Ah. Vinny Vampire Bat says, V, V. Willie Walrus says, W, W. Axie X ray Fish says, K. Yakety yak says y y. Zippy zebra says. Letter C, k k C. I can make a great big C. Start to make a circle, then stop. What do you see? Letter C. I can make a little C Start to make a circle Then stop, you've made a C Old Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own He had an orange cat that wouldn't leave his home He tried and he tried to give the cat away he gave it to a man going far, far away But the cat came back the very next day The cat came back, he thought he was a goner But the cat came back, he just wouldn't stay away Away, away, away He gave it to a woman going up in a balloon He told her to take him to the man on the moon The balloon came down about 90 miles away where the woman is now, well, I really couldn't say But the cat came back the very next day The cat came back, he thought he was a goner But the cat came back, he just couldn't stay away Away, away, away He gave him to a man, headed out west He told him to bring him to the one he loved the best the train hit the track and fell off the rail And no one was left to tell the awful tale But the cat came back the very next day The cat came back, he thought he was a goner But the cat came back, he just wouldn't stay away Away, away, away The cat came back the very next day The cat came back he thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away, 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 away. Well, that was fun. So we're going to do one more song, and it's called I Have a Song in My Tummy. That's funny. And it talks about all different body parts and different sounds they might make. So here we go. I got a song in my tummy and it wants to come out. I got a song in my tummy. I got a song in my tummy and it wants to come out. I got a song in my tummy. I got a song in my tummy and it wants to come out. And when it does, I'm gonna sing and shout. La 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 I got a song in my tummy Now toes I got a song in my toes And it wants to come 
come out. I got a song in my toes. Wiggle, wiggle. I got a song in my toes and it wants to come out. I got a song in my toes. Wiggle, wiggle. I got a song in my toes and it wants to come out. And when it does, I'm gonna sing and shout. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I got a song in my toes. I got a song in my nose and it wants to come out. I got a song in my nose. I got a song in my nose and it wants to come out. I got a song in my nose. I got a song in my nose and it wants to come out. And when it does, I'm gonna sing and shout. I got a song in my nose. I got a song in my heart and it wants to come out. I got a song in my heart. But um, but um. I got a song in my heart and it wants to come out. I got a song in my heart. But um, but um. I got a song in my heart and it wants to come out. And when it does, I'm gonna sing and shout. But um, but um, but um. I got a song in my heart. Good. So now the next thing we're going to be doing is playing our card game. So you are going to be needing this sheet of paper and it has a whole bunch of cars on it and they're all different. And you're also going to be needing something to cover up those cars with. Don't cover them up yet because we're going to be rolling our special dice that are going to have different numbers on them. Either the number one or two, three, four, five or six. So it's only going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So if it rolls like this, it's not going to be a nine. It's a six. And you're also going to be needing something to cover up, like when we played our bingo game. So I figured I'd use some coins again because it's sea week. But you can use whatever you would like. So maybe you have buttons or some matchbox cards to put on your cards. Just something. So this is how you play the game. I'm going to be rolling the die and whatever number it rolls up. So say I roll a number four, then we're going to cover up four cars. And we're going to try and cover up the whole board. Okay? Are you ready? I don't know what I'm going to roll. Let's see. Aw, oh, man. I rolled a one. So we're just going to cover one car and try and go start at the top and go across. So I'm just going to cover one. Okay, maybe we'll get a better roll this time. I got a four. So we get to cover up four more. We already did one. Now let's cover up four. One, two, Three, four. Okay. Can I roll it again? <gasps> I rolled a six, so we get to cover up six cars. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count and see how what number we need to cover our whole board. One, two, three, four, five. So a five or a six would win the game. I can't believe it. Look what I rolled. A five. So let's cover up five more cars. One, two, three. Four, five, hooray! Did you cover your board? I covered mine. That was fun. 
So you can play this game at home too. You just would need a, a die. A lit, sometimes they're itty bitty little and they come in all kinds of games. I just have a big one so you can see on your computers. All right, well, it's time to make a car. So our car is going to look just like this. Kind of looks like um, a, a, a beetle bug car. I love these kinds of cars. So I'm gonna get my, I got my whole bag of materials here. So it looks like we're gonna be cutting. We have to cut the car out. And then you are also going to be needing two wheels, just like the bus that we made on Friday, two windows, and the word car, and a little light. All right, so we are gonna be getting our scissors out. I better hang my car up so we can see what it looks like. You stay there. All right, make sure you're picking up your scissors. Your little thumb goes, your thumb goes in the little hole and the rest of your fingers go in the big hole. You have to hold on to the paper with one hand, cut with the other. So we're gonna close and open. Close and open. Really try and keep your scissors lined up on that line. Now we are gonna turn the paper. Turn the paper. Open and close. Now we're on a straight line. Now instead of trying to turn the scissors, just turn the paper. It makes cutting so much easier. One more turn of the paper. Open close. Oh my gosh, I'm almost there. How are you doing? Voila. Okay. So if you need a little more time to cut out your car, you should just stop Mrs. Hamilton's class and then turn it right back on when you're ready. So I'm gonna place my car down here and I'm gonna be needing my glue. So I'm gonna take the top off. I don't think I wound it down, but I'll wind it up a little bit. And we're gonna figure out where do we wanna put our wheels? Do you want them close together? Do you want them far apart? You decide. So I'm gonna put a little glue here. Stick my wheel on. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Let's do this side. Five, four, three, two, three, one, two, one, blast. blast off. Let's give it a shake test, shake test. Looks good. Looks good. All right, the All right, windows. The windows. Kind of like, kind of like a puzzle. So you don't want to put your windows on like that. That would look funny. So you have to first figure out how they go. And if it doesn't seem right to you, flip it over. Do you see? One window goes this way. One window goes that way. So it's in like a round shape. I feel like there's two here. There is. Okay. So once you figure out where you're going to put your windows, Slide them up or down, and then put some glue. First put some glue here. Stick it on. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do this side. Put a little glue. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now this Seems like it's the front of the car. The hood would be here. So we are going to put the light right in the front. Front. So put a little glue here. Oh my gosh, I have another one. It's like I'm making windows. Give it a shake test. How does that look? Does it look like a car? Vroom, vroom. Okay, last piece. 
This is Hamilton wrote C A R, car. And then I have a little line here, and I wrote the, the letters A R for you. So you just need to make a C today. So we're going to make our circle. We're going to start to make a circle. Around, but stop. You've made a C. And once you make that C, then you can glue this on wherever you would like. I think I'm going to put this one in, in the wheel. How does yours look? I'm pretty happy with mine. Kind of proud of it. So I'm going to put it on my wall. I've been hanging up all the crafts that I've been making since we started Mrs. Hamilton's class. In fact, my wall is almost full. So I'm going to put my car on and then I might have to start taking a few things down and putting them in another room because I'm not going to have room to hang them all up. So it looks like I've got a spot right here. So I'm going to stick it. Whoops, I knocked over my ukulele. How does it look? Have you been hanging up your crafts? You should be proud of them because it's something you made and you are special. I'm pretty happy with how mine look. Okay, well, I hope you had fun today learning with Mrs. Hamilton. I better put my stuff back in my box. So it's all ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow we are gonna be learning all about caterpillars, another C word. So I can't wait to find out all the fun things that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be making a caterpillar craft plus a few other special surprises. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, different is beautiful. Spread love and be kind. Bye.